So welcome everybody. My name is Meg Edwards and I'm the Director of Coaching Services with the David Allen Company. And I'm here today with my pal Dean Herring, who is the Chief Innovator of Netcentrics and responsible for the Outlook add-in. And one of the things that I've noticed over the years coaching people in person, doing workflow coaching, and also over the phone doing telecoaching, is that my clients that have chosen to use the Netcentrics Getting Things Done Outlook add-in, I'm always trying to make sure that they know the software in terms of the basics. And one of the things that I do usually during the first call with people or when I'm meeting with people in person is to go over some of the best practices in the calendar and the tasks and the email and the notes section. And I called Dean to ask him if he would be willing to do a webinar with me because I found that it would be very useful for everybody to know some of the things that I really think are important that everybody has in place, kind of like the the 101 of the Outlook add-in. Do you know that the add-in can do these features with the calendar and these features with the tasks and these features with the email and these features with the notes? And inevitably, some clients know them and they don't. So we thought that by doing a webinar, we would go over all of those points to make sure that you have all that in place. Dean, one of the things that I thought might be helpful is for you just to give a little bit of a, a history between how you and David met and how the Outlook add-in came to be. Sure thing. Back in 2001, we read David's book just after it was published. And since we work with a lot of large organizations helping them with their Outlook email systems, we realized that the Getting Things Done methodology would be a great way to manage their email, their next actions and really become a great trusted system for the people who follow the methodology and use Outlook. So I contacted David and we decided that it would be a good idea to meet and the funny thing to me was he I asked him if he was going to be on the East Coast anytime and he said he had a half day engagement in Charleston and asked me if that was close and I said yes because Charleston is about five hours from Raleigh but you know compared to California it's pretty darn close. (laughs) So we went and, uh, and met, and I showed him the prototype that we had built in Outlook, and, and we decided that it would be a good idea to partner and provide the Getting Things Done Outlook add-in. Actually, we probably looked at a prototype for about an hour, made a couple of comments. David says, I think you got it. This looks really good. We realized we had a good fit and had a couple hours left, so we went and ate a really nice dinner. And I gave him a, um, a science fair hat, and he gave me a mine like water hat. And I'm firmly convinced that if we ever write a book, that probably is the, the business model. If you always give somebody a science fair hat and a mine like water hat, boom. You're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, we've been partners. So, so in November of 2002, we released the add-in, and we've had somewhere around nine upgrades, uh, a couple of major releases and some upgrades to the add-in. And it's currently used in, I think at last count, something like 40 different countries, lots of people all over the world. And, and we found it useful. I've been using it since I showed the prototype to David. And I think if you use Outlook, it's kind of a, it's kind of a good tool to be your trusted system. And I know that you coach people who use it, and I'm glad we have the chance today to go over the tips because, as you said, I think it's really important when people come into Outlook and use it for the first time to really make sure they have everything set up and know where everything is so that they can be most effective. Great. Well, that. how about we go ahead then and start with the calendar view because that's where I actually always start. That sounds terrific. Please join us in our next video for Configuring Your Calendar. Mm-hmm.